As you can see, we're definitely not in LC at the moment. So we're up in Mackay. We're here for a couple of weeks and we're going to be doing a bit of work uh, for Drive North Queensland, Mackay, Sundays, and Townsville. Yes. And we've got an Apollo van to do the job. Going to go for a couple of bushwalks. There's a few places where you can see some platypus or platypi. We've just arrived at Cape Hillsborough with the caravan park here. Exciting morning planned. We're going on a wildcat boat tour. I'm Matt, and this is Holly. We've been exploring and traveling around Australia in our old Toyotas for the past three years, going to some incredible locations. Subscribe to join our adventures. Morning. <laughs> um, we are at the top of Yungala. Yes. We're in Yungala. Is it a town? Yeah, yeah it is town. a town. A little township up the top of this uh, Yungala range. I mean, as you've seen from the footage, mm. it's absolutely spectacular. Completely different temperature up here. It's actually quite quite <laughs> cool. It's nice. It's nice though. Yeah, so um, it's quite rainforesty up here, which is nice. So a little bit different to what we did yesterday. So what are we going to do this morning? Going to go for a couple of bushwalks. There's a few places where you can see some platypus or platypi. What's a, platypi what's a plural? Platypi is plural. All right. <laughs> someone, will, someone will tell us in the comments. I think it's <laughs> And then we're going to do a, few, um, a bit of a hike through the National Park here to a really cool fig tree with an archway in it. And then go have some pies for lunch. Pinnacle pies. The famous pinnacle pies. Probably have a nap at some stage. Yeah. <laughs> We're up pretty two, early this yeah. morning. Two <laughs> four a.m. wake up calls is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's early. It's early. <laughs> no, in the of worth the night. it though. Well worth it for a yeah. sunrise like that. That was amazing. They're actually, we think there's still a bit of ash left in the atmosphere from. Um, you reckon? I don't know. I reckon I it's know. just a lot of. I reckon it's just a lot of atmosphere. tropical moisture. Okay. <laughs> it's probably just that. Who knows? Someone else tells us about it. <laughs> So our next stop this morning is Broken River. Um, this is where you come down and see platypus. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. But it's a really pretty little area. Yeah. Nice and lush and rainforesty and lots of bird life. So yes. go check it out. They say that the best time to see platypi or platypus is uh, <laughs> between 7 and 11. Um, it's 7 o'clock now, so let's go see.
on the leech check. We've had two on our shoes already. Just, uh, just de-leeching. Just de-leeching our shoes. Oh, you can see him wiggling around in the branch. We've just come down the range from Yungala. Now we're at Pinnacle and we're going to um, the Pinnacle Pub to have some famous Pinnacle pies. So we have had these once before back in 2019. So excited. They are like amazing. I, I'm actually going to put it out there. I actually reckon it's probably the best pie I've ever had in my life. Yeah, probably. That's a huge call in Australia, but they are that good. Mm. <laughs> they are so good. Oh, let's go eat. I'm starving. <laughs> Well, I managed two pies, chips, some of Holly's chips. I'm chockers. I'm so full. I'm gonna need a sleep. I think I'm gonna need a little Arvo siesta. Holly, how'd you go? Good. How many did you eat? <laughs> Half a pie. <laughs> Half a pie. <laughs> I had two. No, I, I had... probably ate three quarters. Mm, yeah. Three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> just arrived at Cape Hillsborough at the caravan park here we are right on the beach like literally stones throw away really really nice little caravan park uh, we're gonna stay here the night we're probably gonna check out rock pool this afternoon on Wedge Island which is this little island which you can only access on low tide and then tomorrow morning we've got the kangaroos and wallabies out on the beach which is one of the sort of more iconic things you can do around here so yeah we'll um, get set up not there's much setting up to do <laughs> so we're going for an explore to Wedge Island. Wedge Island, low tide, you can only get here, so. Yeah. There's a rock pool or something. We'll yeah. Just go have a little look, go for a walk. But it's fun being back in the tropics, like palm trees on the beach. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't Very it? Nice. <laughs> 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 This here is Wedge Island and its famous rock pool. It is usually accessible two hours either side of low tide, but unfortunately the low tide today was still too high to reach it. The tide tomorrow was going to be 80 centimetres lower, so we thought we'd give it a try then. This is the photo we took last time we were here back in 2019, and as you can see, you easily could have accessed it by just walking across the sand. Unfortunately, we didn't know about it at that time, so we haven't ever been to it. We sell this image as a print on our website, so if you're looking to spruce up your place, or as a good gift idea, I'll link our website here and in the description. It was really nice, really nice. It was a nice bit of like pink colour when we came down, waiting for the sun to pop up now. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Really cool, really cool experience. Morning. Good morning, guys. All right, so we are just about to go to Brecky to Old Station Tea House, which is not far from here, only no. a couple of k's up the road, yeah. Cape Hillsborough. So we're going to scout that Brecky out and see what it's like, you guys, and yeah. can recommend it. Yeah. Um, we obviously got up for the ruse this morning on the beach. It's really nice, just mm. sunrise and getting up and having a look. And I don't know it's just so iconic seeing like kangaroos is, on a yeah. beach. It's, <laughs> can't get much more Australian than that. So. Uh, and then after that we're actually going to come back here yeah. and we're going to do a hike and then we're going to try and go for a walk out to Wedge Island. Again. At low tide, again. <laughs> we really want to get out to the end. You can only get down really, really low tide. Yeah. And there's a little rock pool and stuff and it looks pretty cool to check out. So yeah, we'll fingers go have crossed. A look. Just uh, finish up the tea house there. So it is a tea house. They don't have like um, 
full breakfast, but they did say if you ring in advance, you, they could do a breakfast up. I'm not sure what that would be like, but nice cakes, scones, had a tea and, sorry, a coffee and yeah, so that was nice. And it was a really nice setting. So, um, and it's just up the road from the caravan park. So we'll probably head back to the caravan park now and go and do some hikes. All right, we've just got the van parked up and we are going for a walk. This is Andrew's Point Lookout. Um, so you walk up the top of the headland where the sun rose above that mountain this morning and you just walk around there. There's a few lookout points and also um, an area where you can view turtles. Yeah, there is. Mm, so that's Go look, Jeez, the beach out. looks so nice. Yeah. The water looks amazing. <laughs> at the turtle lookout saw some turtles which was really cool There's lots of them like yeah lots and lots of turtles dozens of them yeah, so, yeah they just, um, pretty cool pop up for yeah <laughs> really cool so we're just going to continue on to andrew point lookout and then uh head back but, go for a swim yeah it's really in hot. the pool <laughs> Update, we have left um, Cape Hillsborough. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it over to Wedge Island Rock Pool. Again, the tide just wasn't low enough and the water was too murky to be out here. <laughs> As I was saying, we couldn't make it over to Wedge Island because the tide just, again, wasn't deep enough. You would have had to wade through the water. And um, it was just so murky, so you couldn't actually see the rocks and it was just... It was a bit, just a bit sketchy. It's a bit sketchy, so unfortunately... Not worth it for an Instagram photo. Yeah, unfortunately <laughs> we couldn't make it over there. It looks epic though, but um, what did happen instead was this. <laughs> so... <coughs> Probably haven't even told you on camera yeah. yet. It's a GoPro Hero 10. We purchased five days ago yep. for $700. Because we were <laughs> like, oh, we're going to be doing a bit of water stuff. Our old GoPro is getting a bit long on the tooth. We'll lash out, we'll get the new one. Poor hole. <laughs> Matt handed it to me as he was trying to wade through the water um, and said, hey, just hold the GoPro. And I did, and I leant on a rock that was covered in oyster shells. So I like lifted my hand away quite quickly and kind of fell. And then my other hand swung into the rock and the GoPro was attached to that wrist and just smacked the rock and broke it. She smashed. <laughs> so we went and bought another one today. <laughs> $700. Like called up all these stores in Mackay <laughs> trying to find a new GoPro. Anyway. Because we really need it for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it was just oh, such bad luck. Anyway, mm. get that. Like I just said a whole, I was like, don't worry about it. It's like, it's not the last thing we're going to break. I mean, we've mm. crashed drones. We've, you know, just because of what we do, like you just break the gear. But yeah, it's just one of those things just like oh, far out. It's like literally like brand spanking you. We've probably taken like. 10 videos with it yeah we've used it for three days and that is it like and we'll probably maybe use it for 10 videos anyway yeah um buy yeah some, buy some merch. Please. Buy, buy, please buy merchandise please buy it um <laughs> so yeah we're at the discovery parks here in Mackay and just gonna cook up some dinner pick up some rav tomorrow we are going on a boat which i'm very excited about so so, we're going to settle in for the night and leave you guys to it. See you tomorrow. Good night. 
All right. Morning, everyone. Hello. We've got a really exciting morning planned. We're going on a wildcat boat tour, yep. which is just cruising around islands, snorkeling, and doing all that fun stuff on the reef. So yep. it's really definitely good. a must-do while you're up here. Um, I've heard this tour is really good, so we'll see what it's like. Yeah. And we'll get some footage for you guys. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching that episode, guys, uh, and just seeing us in the Mackay region. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, there is a lot to do in Mackay. We have a soft spot for Mackay, obviously, <laughs> because we've spent a fair bit of time there. <laughs> we've got some good friends there. there. Shout out to Cam Court. Yeah, thanks uh, for letting yeah, me stay look, again. <laughs> yeah, heaps to do. Yungla, that was probably, what do you reckon yeah, the highlight was? Cape Yungla. Hillsborough, Yungla. Yeah. Uh, sunrise at Yungla was yeah. really spectacular. Cape Hillsborough is just so iconic. Um, yeah, there's lots to do in the area, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go on to the next area now, which is the Wheat Sundays. We're actually here now, yeah, and uh, we're going to continue our drive through yeah North Queensland. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps us out. And subscribe if you're new here. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.